Welcome back to day 20. It's time to talk about chunking down the big stuff. Ever sat staring at your to-do list and wishing that the highest priority item wasn't that big, huge task that is now urgent? Or do you find that you always avoid certain tasks because you can't get them done and they have a lot of time available, so you're like, I just won't do that right now? Well, if you've embraced Monday hour one planning and are now more productive in your work week and plowing through more and more of your to-do list because you stick to your schedule, then the next step is to make those tasks as easy as possible. Chunking stuff down into bite-sized pieces of work isn't a new or novel concept, and yet I see so many executives still struggling to employ this very simple tactic. So here's the deal. If you have on your to-do list, do Q4 strategy, your brain isn't going to want to tackle that. You'll have an hour in your calendar, or if you've been following my advice, half a day for strategy set aside, but you'll get to that period of time and your brain will resist taking action. Quite simply, Q4 strategy is impenetrable. Your brain needs to fire up on problem solving where to begin the task instead of the actual task itself. So we move into buffering mode, checking email, diving into Slack, or personal buffering favorite, YouTube black holes on how to do the strategy in the first place. We then get into 10 minutes left of our allotted time period for the task and throw our hands up in despair. And a week later, you've abandoned your strategy sessions, your deep work periods, and the whole concept of Monday hour one. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> you wouldn't be alone. Many executives struggle with this. There are so many demands on our time that when faced with this, instead of problem solving it, we move into our old habits and find ourselves back in reactive mode. It's understandable. But let me give you a little bit of uncomfortable truth. If you do that, you will ultimately stay stuck in your career. To be the exceptional leader you crave to be, and you know you're capable of becoming, I know you're capable of becoming, you need to be one of the few that actually does deep work and solves hard problems, turns out that big stuff. Now, there are two ways I see people solving this problem. The first is with accountability. They may hire a coach or find a coworker to work with on the task. Essentially, the coworker is an excuse to be held accountable. Those are both great things in the short term, and I've had great success personally with both approaches. And I know many others who also have done well with the accountability solution. But ultimately, you'll still hit that sticky glass ceiling once again at some point when, for whatever reason, the accountability isn't there today. There will be times when you can't find someone to work with. It truly is only your responsibility. And there will be times where, for whatever reason, you can't find the right coach for this task which is why self-accountability is so incredibly important as a skill. Which brings us to tactic number two for solving this problem, my preference. Learning how to go from big and amorphous to small and discreet, chunking. This isn't rocket science and yet most of us do not do it. Here's all you have to do. Instead of putting strategy on your to-do list, you put, spend 30 minutes figuring out what I need to be doing to build my Q4 strategy. Suddenly you've gone from do this big, huge thing to put some headspace into how I'm going to do it. Once you've done that, you'll have smaller tasks. Now, if they can't be done in 30 minutes or less, the same principle applies. Set yourself a task to chunk that down. I've used this exact principle putting together this challenge. I didn't put on my to-do list, build a challenge, you're indeed right. Initially, I set myself some planning and brainstorming tasks before I even decided I could do this. Then I had several sessions of outlining before writing tasks around specific topics. Believe me, I've tried the other way. I did that with my PhD and it wasn't a pleasant or quick process for anyone involved. So start chunking everything down. Start today. Your homework today, again, is a fairly simple one. What are you leaving too big? What do you avoid tackling? What's the very first task you could put in your to-do list to chunk down? If you're in the Slack community, Pop over there and tell us what you are going to start chunking down starting today. I'll see you over there.